Hey everyone, it's Dr. Zach Shaw with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Now we are licensed and trained chiropractors, and so when people find out I'm a chiropractor, usually their first thing is, hey, I got back pain, can you crack my back? And I say, uh, no, because I do something a little bit different. I focus on the upper cervical spine. Now why do I do that? Well, research shows us that a subluxation or a misalignment in one of the top two bones in the neck, putting pressure on the brain stem, can cause a variety of conditions. And so, if I can take care of that subluxation or that misalignment at the top two bones, then really the body can take care of itself. Let me explain to you how this happens, okay? So this upper cervical misalignment, or a subluxation, which is pressure on the brain stem, happens due to a trauma at some point in someone's life. This trauma could have been all the way back at birth. It could have been a slip and fall as a kid. It could have been a sports injury, a car accident. We don't know until we take x-rays, okay? So when this misalignment happens, actually two things happen. Number one, and like we've already talked about, it puts pressure on the brain stem. Now it's important to note that the brain, the brain stem, and the spinal cord the rest of the way down have no pain perception. What that means is you could have had a misalignment here for years, even decades, even since the day you were born and never have any headaches or neck pain. But if this subluxation occurs, it is interfering with the messages from your brain to the rest of your body. These are the messages that go to your stomach, to your heart, to your lungs, to your kidneys, to your liver. Every single cell, organ, and tissue has these messages from the brain and the brain stem. Actually, the brain stem we like to call Houston Control. It's like our relay center. Basically, every single message from the brain to the body has to go through the brain stem. And even messages from the brain to the brain itself always relays through the brain stem. This is why we see awesome results with things like anxiety, depression, panic disorders, even learning disorders. We see things clear up like Crohn's disease, constipation, diarrhea, things with the gastrointestinal tract. We've seen kidney failure get better. We've seen your typical neck and back pain, migraines, headaches, really any condition you can think of, it's worth it to see if an upper cervical issue could be causing that condition. So we've talked about brainstem pressure. The second thing that can happen is structurally, your head sits on top of this bone right here. So when that misalignment occurs, maybe decades ago, taking this bone outside of its normal physiological space, meaning it's gone this way or this way, you can see it takes the head with it. So. The brain has its own reflex called the riding reflex that forces the brain to always be level. So when this misalignment occurs, taking the head with it, obviously taking the brain too, now the brain's not level. The brain does not like this. It sends messages down the spine, forcing a chain reaction of twisting and turning, bending and rotating, whatever the spine's gotta do to get this head level. What that looks like over time is compensations throughout the spine. Okay, so when this bone goes out, maybe now I have to lower my shoulder to level the brain. And then I've got to raise a hip. And this is why we see weaknesses in the spine, which these weaknesses basically turn into pain. This could be neck pain, upper back pain, low back pain, all the way down to hip, knee, and foot pain. And this is due to that atlas bone being misaligned, forcing weaknesses throughout the spine. And those weaknesses are what contribute to the pain. We can work on those weaknesses all we want, but the body put them there for a reason. They're literally compensatory to the misalignment up here, which is why we don't wanna to touch the rest of the spine. We only want to touch the top two bones in the neck because that is the cause of the pain that's going on or even the pressure on the brain stem causing a variety of systemic issues throughout your body. So. If you or someone you love suffers from a condition that you think may be due to an upper cervical problem, I think it's best for you to give our office a call. That number is 704-588-5560.
We can do a consultation, exam, x-rays. We'll do a doctor's report of findings to let you know exactly what's going on. We'll even read over your x-rays and show you what your upper cervical bones look like. We never ever charge for a consultation, so at least come in and see if we believe that it may be an upper cervical issue. We're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, but if you're not in Charlotte, please give our office a call anyway, and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor as close to you as possible. I hope you know a little bit more about upper cervical care. Please give our office a call, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All you need to know is that conventional medical care really just treats the effects of your condition. Drugs and surgery really just mask the symptoms. And although surgery can be warranted sometimes, very rarely is it needed. With upper cervical care, we find the cause of your condition by finding the misalignment in the top of the neck, putting pressure on your brainstem, which interferes with the messages between your brain and your body. Give our office a call today.